On this episode of Job Scopes, Diane and I, we will be learning how to be professional bakers for a day. Hey guys, welcome back to Ladies First. We are here at Nana Tang with our instructor Serena. Hi everyone, I'm Serena. Nana Tang has been here for about five years. We do take customized cake orders. We also sell small desserts like macarons. We also conduct baking classes over here. Mm. So what do people learn during these baking classes? We actually have quite a wide range of courses over here. There's cakes, cupcakes, macarons, pastries like shoe and tarts, and also cute character uh, meringue cookie and mochi. Mochi! Wow, mochi. I started when I'm 16, 14 years ago, you can guess my age. Okay. <laughs> I'm a sweet tooth person, so I really love to eat sweet stuff and cakes. So I decided to try baking it myself until a point that I have friends who wanted to buy from me. They told me, why don't you sell it? Just sell it. So that's when I started to become a home baker. Slowly expanded until what I am today. Oh. Yeah. What is your day like usually? I will come in here, change to my chef apron, maintain hygiene. I will check what orders that we have for the day. We will proceed to produce our cakes or desserts. Then we will pack the order and get it ready to send out. Before we start, we have to consolidate the orders for the day. So I'm going to show you what the orders that we have. I have to write it down. Is it a part? I'm uh, scared. I'll start. No, it's not hard. Huh? Just r recording I'm not now. I'm scared. <laughs> Tell me. Okay, so uh, for example, <laughs> yeah, so generally that's how we uh, take customers' order. Oh, we actually have an order coming. Hello, how can I help you? Hello. Uh, can I order a bento cake? Uh, sure. Uh, when do you want it? Can I have it today? Uh, uh, so sorry, but you'll have to wait about one week in advance as we currently have quite a lot of orders coming in for today. So is it okay if we have it on a later date for delivery or pickup? Uh, yes. yes, sure. What design would you like for your bento cake? Can I have straight palette? What color are you looking for? Can I have blue and pink color? Okay, is there any particular cake flavour that you would like? We have chocolate, we have vanilla, all grey. Can I have vanilla? Would you like it delivered or pick up? Delivered. That will be an additional charge of $12.80, okay? Total will be $44.80. Can send us via PayNow? <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Go. Okay, we'll send you the details. Oh, okay. And, oh, and send, do send us the address too, please. <laughs> okay, you can. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. So, how many orders do you usually get on a daily basis? In average, 5 to 10. I take like half a day to bake one cake. That will take me approximately 5 days to bake 5 to 10 cakes. Hopefully, I get to learn how to be amazing at baking today. And one fine day, maybe open my own shop. Yay! What are the prices for the workshop like? Uh, it actually depends on what you want to learn and achieve at the end of the learning session. Mm -hmm. Three hour hands-on class starts from 168, can go all the way to about 500 for a few days class. The longer the hours, the more things that you will learn and absorb in the class. Do you get a lot of couples coming in here, couples activities? Yes, 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 definitely. Some of them prefer to have a private class by just them alone. Some of them join them together in a public class which is with other people. It's kind of romantic though to actually go to a baking class. Mm. Like, yeah, it's like ghost. You know the pottery thing where you just like mm. hold hands. I can't. My nails so next long. time we can like turn like that together <laughs> and hold the bowl together. So when you do the cake, you what? Yeah, you I hold the, the bowl. Together. I hold your hand and you hold the bowl and then we pour together. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like a mess. <laughs> Alright, are you girls ready to make today's order? Yes, I see Sing Yu Yeah, Sing Yu is happy birthday. Yes, please. I can take the Sing Yu uh, It's a more difficult, are you sure? I think it's fine. I see chocolate ganache. I know how to make ganache. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's that, but she can have it. 
<laughs> we leave the slightly easier one for you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Usually this is a guide that we need to follow. Let's run through first. Okay. okay. So for Mr. Xavier, we have to make a bento cake size, a vanilla cake. His order is a palette classic pattern with the color pink and blue. And the words he wants on the cake is Happy Shannon Day. Okay. Oh, so cute. Okay. What's SB? I see SB here. Is it? Uh, okay. Yes. Wow, yeah. she knows. <laughs> if it's IB, it's like Italian. Oh yes. Uh, for Cheryl, we're gonna do bento cake size as well as a chocolate cake base. The design is uh, hard to you. It's just a name that we give for this design. I will show it to you later on. You have to draw a lot of hearts on the cake. There's a wording as well saying Shukai. Color scheme that she wanted is pink and red. Since it's your first day at work, shall go a little bit easier on you. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's start. I'm very excited to bake. Yes. We're gonna start off with baking chocolate cake. And together, you will make a Swiss meringue buttercream. Where's my fork? <laughs> Give me a moment. Where's my milk? Where's my vanilla My sister never prepared things properly. This will not happen if I was her sister. It will happen if I was her sister. The very first step, I need you ladies to measure all the dry ingredients and see if it's true. 45 grams of cocoa So we are mixing the wet and dry ingredients together and then Diana's gonna add in the coffee because coffee sort of elevates the flavour of chocolate. Now you need to measure them into the cake mold. 90 gram per mold. Mm. You put the mold on top of the oh. weighing machine. <laughs> I fade it now. I'm a perfectionist. Mm. Okay, now done. Let's put them into the oven. Now it's time to make my favorite thing. And my favorite thing is me. So it's my main and now that I finish, you need to tidy up the space before ah, you do okay. the next step. Oh. Now the cake is mm -hmm. baking. We proceed on to making of the Swiss meringue buttercream. Yes! yes. I'm uh, excited for her. Oh. Yes, thank you. Help me to measure the ingredients first. Wow. Okay. Can I put it? Mm, yes, I'm okay excited mm. putting it. Oh. That's what he said. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Family friendly channel, guys. One what? We are supposed to do a double boiling process. Okay. The process is to kill germs okay. that is in the egg white. You are supposed to heat up to a temperature of 60 degrees. It looks like my husband needs to get me a thermometer gun. You gotta open and release it. It's 36.2. It works on me too! 34.9, which is cold. <laughs> Maybe also cold. 34.8? Why is everyone so cold? It's because you're hot. Hey. <laughs> the cake I think is almost done, but before we take out, we have to do checking whether or not it's uh, fully baked. Toothpick check! Toothpick check, yeah, correct. So, how about you check? Ooh, off your hand. Yes, it's clean off the toothpick. Okay, while well, the cake is cooling down, let's go back to the Swiss meringue buttercream. We can add in the butter now, room temperature, and whip at lower speed. Add in the butter gradually. Yeah, you just push it in. Push it in, there we go. Okay, and now we gradually increase the speed of the machine. Every two seconds, you increase one level. Just turning. Now we are done with all the buttercream and cake. It's time to frost it and decorate it. Okay. okay according to the customer's order, uh, not okay. your own design. Okay. okay. I will show you an example. Then you can do it yourself. I'm excited. First step is to paste one piece of cake in the middle. Paste one piece of cake. Fill up the center. Level it and make sure it's not a dome shape or a mountain shape. It's flat. <laughs> Put the second piece of cake. Do your best to fully cover the cake, leave no gaps. Something like this. Use a scraper at a 45 degree. 
and you spin the turntable. You can chill your cake for a while before you do the decoration. All right, so now it's your turn to do it. Now we are done. Let's pack the cakes. To pack the cakes, you actually need to indicate a few things. Okay. Our brand label sticker, storage instructions of the cake on the box, okay. the essential candle, spoon. This kind of cake, we don't give knife. It's not meant for cutting actually. And then pack into paper bag and label the customer's name okay. on the bag. Okay. Okay, so we are finally done for the day. It's a pretty good job. Really? If you ask me, Diana has no zero knowledge about baking. And I think she did her best already. Oh, and you. as a beginner, she done a good job. And Amanda, I'm quite impressed. <laughs> really very perfect, like you're a professional baker. Like you've done cake orders before. Would you hire us as apprentices? <laughs> Uh, she wouldn't hire me for sure. I will consider. <laughs> <laughs> I think today has been has been really fun. I've learned a lot of technical stuff. For me, it's my first time ever baking properly. So I think it is actually very fun. I've always wanted to learn baking and cooking. So today is a start for me. So thank you so much for having us. Yeah, so if us. you guys ever have ever wanted to be a baker, but you're too afraid to explore it, I mean, Serena has definitely shown us that as long as you set your mind to it, even at like a really young age of 16, she has been doing this, mm -hmm. anything is possible because now she has like a freaking shop house of two floors, okay? Mm -hmm. So if your mother tells you that you cannot be a baker and you need to be a doctor, you tell her, no ma, I know someone who started at the age of 16 and can somehow do this. Being a baker is really quite a difficult job. But it's not impossible. If it's not even like your dream to be a baker, it's a knowledge that it is helpful for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Job Scope. Do let us know what you want to see in the comment section down below and what other jobs you want us to try out because there's so many out there. Let's be real here. Mm -hmm. And make sure you like and subscribe and watch our previous video and we will see you in the next one. Bye!